this is our last assignment before we get to the big comprehensive problems. Um, it's also our last week that we're touching payroll this quarter. I just wanted to give you some hints on this assignment to help make sure you get it right the first time to save yourself some time later. On 9-1B, since we are calculating taxes for more than one employee, the 7,000 maximum on FUTA and SUTA does not apply. So you will calculate it based on the 12,310. On exercise 9-4, we are only calculating it for Gonzales, so your $7,000 maximum does apply. On 9-5, you are giving me the journal entries for paying taxes. So the first entry is going to include your federal income tax, your social security tax, and your Medicare tax. Your second journal entry is going to deal with your FUTA tax, and your last one is going to deal with your SUTA tax. So you're gonna show me how would you record those from an employer perspective. On 9 Dash nine. You are going to show me your calculations. So for example, in this highlighted box in yellow, you would show me your tax. So in this case, we have 54, I'm sorry, we have $540,000 worth of tax. And then you would, you would show me your multiplication by your percentage and then your dollar amount. Down below, you would show me the journal entry that goes along with that. And you would do the same things for number two and number three. If you do have any questions when you're working on these, please let me know. Some students make this harder than it actually is, but I'm here to help. So have a good day and let me know if you have any questions.